Hey guys, welcome to Geek to Chat. Today we're going to look at the Excel function called VLOOKUP. And the VLOOKUP function allows you to pull data from multiple different sheets together into one. So in our example data here, we have an ID number, a first name and a last name. But we want to pull in to the spreadsheet an, ex an email address. So in this tab, we have a email address and it matches up to an ID number which matches up over here so what we want to do assuming we have a bunch of data here we only have like 25 but assuming we have a bunch of data we want to be able to match this up and pull in the data we want so to do that we'll start in this top column here and we'll use the VLOOKUP uh, function so it's equals VLOOKUP parenthesis and the lookup value is going to be the ID so we'll click in that column and then we'll hit comma and then the table array is all the data in the other uh, sheet so we'll go ahead and just highlight the data and then I'll hit comma again and it's going to ask you the column index so this in this column is index 1 and this column will be index 2. If you have multiple indexes in the array that you highlighted, it starts with 1 and then it goes 2, 3, 4, the whole way across. So we want the email address. So this would be column 2 in our array. So this is column 1, this is column 2. So we're going to go ahead and punch in 2, and then I'm going to hit comma again. And it wants to know if I want a approximate match or an exact match. I want an exact match because if it doesn't match, I don't want it to give any result. Uh, I would rather have it just say uh, NA. And I actually left one out in here, so we'll see that happen. So we'll go ahead and hit false, and we'll close our parentheses and hit enter. All right, so you can see that it returned the email address from the other sheet with that formula. Now, one thing that's going to happen here is if we go ahead and fill this down by hitting control D which fills the formula down it's going to give us some incorrect data and we'll show you why is because the range here is changing each time we go down you can see it's getting lower A5 to B20, B27 A6 to B28 we actually want that range to stay the same so I'm going to go ahead and hit control Z to undo that fill down and I'm going to show you how to keep that range the same all you do to make it static is put in a uh, dollar sign in front of the A and a dollar sign in front of the 2 and then a dollar sign in front of the B and a dollar sign in front of 24 so this will keep it from changing, it keeps it static um, we do want the A2 to continue to move down as the formula does so we won't do that there so if we go ahead and do control down now you can see that we have results on everyone except for this one and this is the one that I did not include in the other sheet so you can see there's 25 lines here in this sheet there's only 24 so there's going to be one that doesn't match and that would be this one right here so that's an example of the VLOOKUP function and how you can pull data um, from another sheet uh, and it's, it's really a, I use it a lot so I wanted to share this and I know a lot of people get confused on how to uh, set, set it up but I think this is a pretty good example that I set up here for you and you can really um, get an idea exactly how to use it and, and this, this is very important with this dollar sign stuff here to keep it static um, so I think that's really important. I struggled with that at first. Um, so I hope this video helps you out. Um, if it does help you in uh, using the VLOOKUP function, I would love you to subscribe to my channel and uh, give us a like here or a comment on this video. Thanks.